it's Eleanor Hode here from Wild and Free Forest School and this is Spikey the Hedgehog. He was a hedgehog that was found in Hansworth Wood injured and um, actually running in the road looking a little bit distressed. On closer inspection he had a nasty cut to his face, to his eye and his nose. Um, so we put him in a shoe box and took him to the nearest hedgehog rescue called Hogfields um, which is over in Great Bar. Um, they're a really lovely local organisation that help hedgehogs. They agreed to look after him and try and nurture him back to health and um, with the idea that if he gets better he'll be able to be released into our garden. So what I needed to do was start to make a hedgehog house. So here are the pictures of me making the box. So I used scrap wood and batons to make the side pieces of the box um, then attach those to a flat base. The base is about 40 centimetres wide. Um, the sides are going on, just screwing them on with some good hard wearing outdoor screws. I bat on the base to raise it up off the ground just to stop it getting too damp. Um, I'm attaching the sides on now, that's the third side going on. Now it's time to make the internal wall. It has a small wall inside just to separate the bed chamber from the entrance this is to stop predators um, being able to get in so I'm just putting I've attached that on through the base and I'm just going to put on the front leaving a little doorway opening for him to get in and now the roof's going on again made of three pieces of wood of planks and then those are battened on underneath to join them together and that will fit nicely on top you can hinge them but I've just made mine so it slots in and then on top of that I put some damp proof plastic um, that's the finished box so here it is the finished hedgehog house I'm quite pleased with how it turned out it was just made with scrap wood um, so I'll give you a little tour this is the doorway for the hedgehog to go in it needs to be um, around 12 and a half centimeters that's the right size for them um, I can put a little sign on for him on the top and uh, it has these feet on just to raise it up off the ground so it doesn't get too damp. Um, each side is made just out of planks of wood that are battened together. You can see all the way around how it joins. It's just like a really big box. Um, around 40 centimetres long is what you're looking for. And then the roof here, um, I've put a layer of damp proof plastic on so it will keep the rain out hopefully some people put these on hinges but I've just done it as a lift off lid and then inside you can see um, the two sections so this piece is where he would come in and then this side would be the sleeping compartment and the reason it's done like that is so that predators if predators try to get the hedgehog they might try and reach in something like a fox or a dog um, but they won't get to the sleeping compartment because we've got this strong wall here so they'll go in turn around the corner um, and come into their sleeping area and what I'm going to do when I finally put this out is put some dry hay or some dry leaves in here to make it a bit more cozy for our hedgehog's bed um, the other thing I've done which I think you can just about see I've drilled uh, ventilation hole here I think I'm going to put in another one and then what you can do is you can actually fit uh, make a larger hole at the back of the sleeping compartment and actually fit an, a piece of hose pipe and that will just let the air circulate well so it's, it's quite a palace really for our hedgehog I hope he's gonna like it um, there's lots of different ways to make hedgehog houses this design is is a good one with the separate sections the other way you can do it is you can make um, a kind of one section piece with a tunnel, like a tube, a square really of wood, which uh, again stops predators getting in. Some of them are done like a little ramp coming out. Um, there's quite simple ways of, of making a place for hedgehogs, just using things like two paving slabs lent up against each other, maybe with some bricks at the front. Um, I've seen ones done with plastic boxes with lids put on top some air holes drilled hole cut at the front and then a piece of pipe put in for them to go in 
um, the main thing really is to find a part of your garden that you can leave wild, undisturbed. Um, they like to have the entrance to their home kind of near a fence, not exposed in the centre of the garden, so kind of tucked in away in a corner or at an edge. Um, and they like to have it kind of surrounded by wood and leaves and natural materials so it's kind of hidden away and feels safe and secure for them. Um, like I say, raised up a little bit off the ground and with a waterproof layer is really helpful to protect them. So when we hopefully get our hedgehog back from the hedgehog hospital, um, I'll show you what happens when he comes here. If he does, if he recovers, if he's well enough. If not, we'll just put this um, hedgehog box out into the garden anyway, and I'll show you where I put it, um, and then we'll see. We might we might get another hedgehog moving in. So if you want to have a go at making a hedgehog house, I'd love to see how you get on. I'll also share with this video some instructions for other designs for making them as well that you might find helpful. Okay, good luck making um, habitats for our hedgehog friends. Bye.